All right, what's going on, everyone? I wanted to make this video because I kind of wanted to compare the uh, Frenzy 2 ability to the Frenzy 1 and Berserker ability. Now, I know that I have these two in the thumbnail, and, and I wanted to use them as an example because they're two, the two newest characters, and that Ichigo has a really high Berserker, uh, and they have very similar SPs. Aizen does have a higher SP, only by four points, so it's not by much. Uh, but I'm not really going to compare the characters. I'm just strictly comparing Frenzy and Berserker to Frenzy at 2. Because at first glance, you see Frenzy at 2, and you think, Oh man, that's absolutely amazing. This is incredible. And it is, don't get me wrong, but it may not be as big of a leap from Frenzy at 1 and a high Berserker as you may think. So I wanted to make this video to kind of compare the two and show you guys why in the future if we get a Frenzy character that has Frenzy at 1 and Berserker, maybe don't immediately go and trash the character because they don't have Frenzy at 2 because that may not be the case. And I wanted to explain why. So with that said, let's go ahead and set the stage, get rid of the text because we're not going to need this text actually. I'm going to keep that text. I'm going to keep the blue text as soon as it lets me. There we go. We're going to keep the blue text. Okay, for this particular test, for this example, we're going to go ahead and assume that both characters have the same SP. Like I said earlier, they don't. Aizen has a higher SP. He has uh, an SP uh, by four points, I think. It's not that much. But for this particular case, we're going to assume they have the same SP because we're not comparing the characters. We are comparing the actual abilities. So characters in this case don't really matter for what I'm trying to explain here so we're going to assume they they have the same sp we're also going to assume that each of their attacks hit for 100 percent so we're going to assume they have a strong uh for 100 damage we're going to assume they have a strong attack that hits one time and it deals 100 damage every time just for the sake of this video so uh let's go ahead and make these a little more opaque just so you can see a little bit better there we go get eyes in over here make them a little make them Spooky Eisen, Ghost Eisen. All right, so they both deal. They're both gonna deal a hundred damage. They're gonna have one strong attack, and it's gonna hit one time. So it hits for hundred damage at base level. So as you guys know, Ichigo has Berserker at sixty percent, uh, and Eisen has Frenzy at three. So what that essentially means is, I'm gonna go ahead and do this real quick. Boop, boop. Okay, that Berserker at sixty percent makes that one hundred base damage, one hundred and sixty. And because he has Frenzy, that hits twice, so that's 162 times, making it 320 damage. So, assuming, you know, this applies to the strong attack 3, it would be 320% uh, of the damage. For Aizen, on the other hand, he doesn't have uh, Berserker at all. He only has Frenzy at 3. So, what this means is we go straight from the, uh, from the uh, magnifier, or I guess the, the strong attack uh, increase to the frenzy increase which is at 300 so because it's a strong attack now it hits three times that's 300 percent 300 damage 300 percent so there you have it at base level with no accessories ichigo actually hits harder than aizen and this applies for a strong attack let's say strong attack three just because they both have full screen strong attack threes so in reality ichigo actually does hit more dam for more damage at base level with no accessories and no other things linked or anything else which is interesting because Aizen does have Frenzy at 2, and Ichigo only has Frenzy at 1. So you'd think that Aizen would deal the most damage, when in reality, it's Ichigo. But, like I said, this changes immediately as soon as you add any sort of multipliers to these characters. Ichigo already has Berserker at 60%, which is where he gets this, but Aizen doesn't have Berserker at all. So what happens when we give them an accessory, let's say the Lieutenant's Badge, the, the, yeah, the Lieutenant's Badge, that increases their strong attack damage by 20%. All of a sudden, Ichigo is dealing 180% with a strong attack because of Berserker at 60 and that accessory. And then when it's doubled, it is 360 damage altogether because it hits twice. Aizen, on the other hand, would get an increase of 20%. So that's... Uh, let me see here. There we go. Okay, so that's 120%. And then that number would then be tripled because of his frenzy at 3. And it would become 360%, the same amount. So you can see here, the extra frenzy essentially, because it, the attack now hits an additional time, it adds that additional damage as well. And you can see how this can stack up really, really quickly if you have linked characters. Let's assume for a second that these characters don't have any accessories equipped, so we'll go back down to 160 and 320 here and 300% here. Let's assume instead they have three links, each link is a 20% strong attack damage link. So now Ichigo now deals 60 uh, Okay, that would make Ichigo's 60% Berserker plus another 60% strong attack damage. 
that would make his total uh, damage output for one strong attack be, uh, what is that, 220%? Is that right? Yeah, that's right. So 220%, this attack would hit twice, and it would essentially be 440 damage for one attack that, you know, that hits twice. For Aizen, on the other hand, if you were to do this to him, his would be 160% damage because that extra link damage would be 60% more to a strong attack. It would be 160 damage. 160 tripled at that point would be a higher number that I don't know off the top of my head because math sucks. What is that, 480? <laughs> Let's say yes. Uh, yeah, it's 480. Okay, so you can see there immediately at that point, Aizen does have the higher damage, but it's not by much. It's only by 40%. A lot less than you may think. Now, this is just supposing that each character has 60% strong attack damage from their links alone. This is probably not going to be the case for most people because most people are probably going to use some sort of strong attack recharge or strong attack recharge and strong attack damage hybrid, which you can still get up to around 60% depending on who you use. But a lot of us are probably going to use strong attack recharge if we don't have uh, three of the hybrid characters. Either way, your number is going to be uh, somewhere between 40% to 60% strong attack damage uh, from links alone. Now, I wanted to do a little experiment here on their Strong Attack 3s just because uh, they both have a full screen Strong Attack 3. And I wanted to kind of, I wanted to, uh, to see what the numbers would end up being. So, we're going to go ahead and assume that no character has any links. Uh, we're going to remove, we're going to, you know, as an experiment, remove any links and accessories and back to their base form, which would make Ichigo 160. Uh, and it would make... Uh, his total damage, well, we'll get to that in just a bit, actually. Uh, and Aizen's would be zero, because he has no multipliers. So multipliers by themselves, 160, and Aizen's would be just 100, uh, just because he has no multipliers himself, he just has the frenzy. So, each of their strong attack threes, uh, is a full screen attack. Each of them has a frenzy of some sort. Ichigo's case, his strong attack three hits eight times because of frenzy, whereas Aizen's hits a ridiculous... 12 times because of Frenzy, because that number is tripled. It's normally four times, for Ichigo it's doubled, for Aizen it's tripled. So, for Ichigo, this is 160 times basically 8, because it hits 8 times, making it a total damage of uh, 1,280. Uh, for Aizen, on the other hand, it's multiplied times 12, so that's 100 times 12, making it a total of 1,200 damage. You can see here... Even though Aizen's hits four more times than Ichigo's, Ichigo does more damage with a strong attack three, if only by a little bit, uh, because he has a hundred, he has a sixty percent berserker, whereas Aizen's, Aizen does not. Now, this number immediately changes if you add any sort of multiplier to Aizen because that damage is increased. But at base level, Ichigo does more damage with a strong attack three, despite it hitting four times less. It's just how it is. Aizen, though, has the huge, huge, huge benefit of his attacks hitting an additional time per hit, largely increasing the chance of inflicting a status ailment. That strong attack 2 is going to be absolutely frightening for that reason. It's honestly insane. And like I said, any sort of multiplier, even if it's the same for these characters, will drastically increase the, the, the damage for Aizen way more than Ichigo. I, I know it sounds like I'm defending Ichigo because I'm not, like I said, I'm not really taking into consideration that it's Ichigo. I'm just saying any character with a 60% Berserker. Uh, but Aizen is definitely going to deal more damage with any sort of multiplier, even if they both get the same amount. Uh, like I proved earlier with the uh, Lieutenant's Badge and any sort of links that you may have. I just wanted to kind of point out that the leap is not that big of a leap from one character to another um, because of... Berserkers being as high as they are. And Ichigo's not even the only one. There are plenty of characters with, Zer with Berserker at 60%, and there are some characters that reach even higher than that. Uh, Noel, for example. Noel has a 60% Berserker, and her strong attack damage is, uh, is... She's got a strong attack damage, think of 20%, increasing her own total by herself to 80% for her strong attack damage, which is higher than most other characters. She's one of the few characters that can reach that high. There's also... Um, What's his name? Grimjow. Oh my gosh. Let me see if actually I can pull up his stats for a second. The uh, the Fierce Battle version of Grimjow is also an insane example of this. Because that character can not only not only does he have a high berserker, and I think it's 60%. I know BBS simulators 
having a bit of uh, trouble loading here. Uh, here we go. Here we go. Here. Uh, he's got a bruiser at forty, a berserker at forty percent, an increased uh, strong attack damage for tech Aronkars by twenty percent, and a full stamina damage link of twenty five percent. So realistically, at full health, he can deal eighty five percent more damage because his strong attacks, which is much higher than Ichigo's, higher than Noel's, uh, and can you know kind of match to a point Aizen. But I honestly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, getting, I'm getting a little tired of talking here because it's taken a few takes to make this video. Um, <sighs> yeah, okay. That's just to say, all of this to say that Frenzy at three, uh, Frenzy at two is insanely awesome. It's really, really good and better than anything we've had in a while. But don't discard some characters that have a high Berserker and Frenzy just because they don't have Frenzy at, at, at two. They're still really, really good characters, and I just wanted to make this video for that reason. Like I said, I'm not comparing these two characters. They are good at what they're good at. They both deal devastating amount of damage. Some are faster than others, some are more reliable. I'm not even going to get into that, but it, it's, it's just to say that I'm tired. <laughs> anyway, let me know what your thoughts on these uh, on Frenzy at 2 is. If you think they're going to start doing this more, when you think the next time we'll see this will be. I have a feeling the next time we'll see this won't be for a while, but the next the, the, the next few characters that we may get may end up having Berserker at 80% uh, and some sort of old other multiplier that will put their uh, strong attack damage uh, above 100% by themselves without giving them Frenzy at 2, because I think we're going to start seeing that. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. With that said, I'm going to stop talking because like I said... This video may be, what, around... Uh, yeah, this video is going to end up being around 12 minutes long. It's taken me like an hour and a half to record it. So, I've done a lot of takes. Anyway, with that said, thank you guys for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Good luck on your summons, and take care.